Well, howdy there, mercs. Today we're going to talk about 318 and how it applies to you as a mercenary. Now, as you well know, mercenary work encompasses all sorts of different disciplines. Anything from men in a mining laser to legitimate salvage, guarding a trader as he goes about his business, delivering packages to dangerous people in dangerous places. Basically, if you're working for money for somebody else, you're doing mercenary work. But today, we're going to talk about a few of my favorite things to do. Dropping cutties, looting bodies, and delivering packages. Along the way, we're going to find out something cool about 318 and all the new systems they put in. They all kind of interact together in surprising ways. You're going to have to get yourself over to one of them new derelict outposts sometimes to pick up them packages. And uh, these things are rife with opportunities for uh, activities, if you know what I mean. Once you've cleared off them activities, it's time to move in and pick up your package. Now remember, mercs, just like your postman, we are stayed neither by snow, nor rain, nor heat nor darkness from accomplishing our appointed course with all speed. And just a side note, that new fire looks terrifying. Imagine being trapped in there in the darkest space with no escape, your oxygen is slowly depleting as that fire rages. And the only thing between you and a sure death is that trusty fire extinguisher. Whew. Anyway, I want to tell you a story. So here I am out trying to deliver a package, looking at the new terrain deformation with holes in the ground and all this crazy new derelict uh, outpost stuff is real cool, real cool. With my trusty cutter, but uh, somebody else had other plans. In comes the cutty reinforcements. What would you do? Like any real merc, I dealt with the problem. You know, activities. Anyway, we make it to our destination. We go to deliver a package. But here's the thing about Mercs. No matter the difficulty, we're going to get the job done. Unfortunately, we're doing the job in a pirate cutlass. And uh, some people... Uh, don't trust our motivations. Let's put that Hello, UEE Navy. Uh, I am in a pirate cutlass. I am not a pirate. They seem to be real interested in me right now. <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah, we gotta get out of here. We're not a criminal yet. Doesn't look like they want me. They just want to know why I'm in a pirate cutlass. Trying to deliver a box. On an airless moon. But you know what? Job ain't done. Gotta get me back down there. See ya, Navy. Obligatory burn-in shot. Those effects. Not bad. Oh, Starfarer never made it out of ammo. Who saw that coming? Better put on the brakes. What is, uh, what is that noise? Oh, that's, that's not a good noise. Oh, shit! Whoo! Better hit them cannon measures after the missiles go by. You know, as you do. So we make it to the ground, under fire. Back into the armistice zone, which which has various efficacy. Starfire gets a little physical with our cutting, which provokes his own warden. Surprisingly, but hey, <laughs> blue on blue. What what can I say? Sometimes it happens.
So this goes on for a little while, me hiding from the UE in the Navy, letting them try to kill that Cuddy in Armistice. It becomes apparent that they don't want to kill the Cuddy in the zone. Because if it blows up on the pad right there, their nice little outpost is going to get all dirty. Very likely in danger, that civilian that's inside that building. Starfire comes in and says, Get that shit away from them buildings. We're trying to blow it up. Now you'd think that they would just land a team to come in here, clear that thing, and process this scene like responsible mercenary teams would. But it doesn't seem like we're quite there yet. So to be helpful, I'm gonna move this cuddy outside that armistice zone and let them do their thing. Because as a mercenary, I need to maintain good ties with the security services, you know. We need to at least maintain the illusion of being clean, you know. So I'm gonna drop this out here. I'm gonna run my ass away. Get to a safe distance and watch the Navy do what they do. One thing, Mercs, when you're shooting at something, check your backstop. Oh, that one was a pucker. That's a pucker. Anyway, they don't want me, they just want that cutty. Warden comes over like, hey buddy, back that ass up. You don't want to get hurt in this explosion. Anyway, they finish the job and hang out for a while. I go to check out the wreck. So here we got lots of systems interacting. We got soft death, which drops the cutty to the ground. We got Persistence, which keeps the wreck around. Along with Soft Death, you get that fire, that sweet, sweet, terrifying fire. Can't wait for the room system and atmospheres and damage control teams and all of that. That's going to be absolutely insane. We got our old standby, the UE Navy, who likes to show up and blow stuff up for no good reason. We got the NPC reinforcements, which gave us the cuddy in the first place. We got the new derelicts, which are interesting set pieces to go and do activities in. We got new loot mechanics, including a move all button, which is, oh my god, so nice. But I think the real takeaway here is what we have is fun. 318's really shaping up. Looks like it's going to be amazing. PTU is a shit show. Don't do it. Don't do it unless you really know what you're doing. But in January of, of next year, it looks like, looks like 318 is going to be live, and that's going to be amazing. Anyway, 2023 looks like it's Star Citizen's year. It's going to be Mark's year, too. We're going to be hitting a bunch of stuff with the, the team. Going to be doing all sorts of crazy stuff in 318, so look forward to that. Anyway, thank you for listening to my story and my ramblings. Take it easy, Mercs. Remember, preparation is key.